So to summarize, in this lecture we have looked at simple examples of validators. First untyped, then typed. And we started with a validator that always succeeds, completely ignoring its arguments. Then a validator that always fails, again completely ignoring its arguments. Then at one that actually looks at the redeemer and checks whether it has a certain predefined value. Then we turned that into a typed version, which is the one that will be used in practice. First with um, built-in data types. Then we saw how we can also use custom data types. But we haven't looked at examples where the datum or the context is actually inspected which of course in realistic examples will mostly be the case. So we will do that in next lecture. Finally, we also had a look at how to use the Cardano CLI to interact with the validators we wrote.